Hi there, I'm Jeff Fairhart. I'm your MC, your host, and your tour guide, if you will, as we show you the OK Corral by Titan West. Now, over the next few minutes, we're going to show you the ins and outs and the features, proving to you why this is one of the most versatile portable corral systems in the market today. Titan West makes Roundup extremely easy because the OK Corral, it's a portable corral system, a single unit actually, and it eliminates the need for transporting and setting up individual corral panels. Let's talk construction of the OK Corral first. The main portion of the corral, the wings that we're going to be folding out in just a little bit, are made of inch and a half square 14 gauge tubing. And I will add that there is a five year warranty on every OK Corral. Seven bars high. Check out our competitors. They don't have tail lights. You don't need to worry about that with the OK Corral. If you're stuck out in the pasture after dark and you still need to make it home, you're going to be safe running down the highway. We're going to go through the list of all the different features and, and the operating features of setting up this particular uh, system that we have. Clint is so graciously agreed to to help us because they're his cattle and, and really you don't you don't have a choice with this. Let's start with the winch. There is an internal safety break in the winch so that there's no little dog or clog that you need to pinch your fingers in. Clint, go ahead, crank it up. One hand operation. Swing it open. As we're swinging it open, Clint, let go of that winch. See? You don't have to worry about it unraveling on you or slamming down. Now he's going to loosen the winch as we get closer to our one setup point. Very simple, very safe, one-handed operation. Pull the pin on the 18-foot wing. This is where it takes a little bit of muscle in this deal, as you can see, Clint. We swing this piece around makes one half of this side of the wing. How high can you lift this panel? Now, now just hold it there for about five minutes, Clint. The swivel hinge that we have right here is what allows this system to set up on uneven ground. Second side is the same as the first. Pull the pin, tighten the winch, swing your one wing out to your desired position. Set it on the ground. You notice Clint isn't even hanging on to the winch there. Another demonstration of that. Now you notice Clint's carrying that panel. We don't have wheels on ours. So if you're trying to set these up in the mud and the muck, you don't have to worry about trying to fight and push those panels across uneven ground. Each 24-foot panel comes with a panel stabilizer. Moving to the internal alley system of the OK Corral, each of the 10-foot sorting gates have a spring-loaded boat latch on them. Something else I really like is the cane latch. And this is really handy if you're out here by yourself and the wind is blowing and there's no one to help you. Won't move your gates around. If we move towards the rear of the internal alley system, we have a little holding pen but also a butt gate. Now on this end we can back a trailer up. We can have a squeeze chute if we need to work one particular animal. Very handy just to have a butt gate in. If we move to the front portion of the trailer, this is our front compartment. This is a galvanile sheeted, two bolt latches on it. And this is big enough, folks, that you can actually have a four-wheeler in here. You can load one critter if you need to take them home. And with the optional uh, nose front, you can even haul two horses in here, which is real handy if you do need to bring a few people out here moving cattle. So with that, it looks like we're all set up and we're ready to work some cattle. Girls, come on, boss, come on, boss. Clint, let's sort these uh, the Charlotte heifers from the black heifers. There we go. Those of us that have worked with portable corral systems know that there's probably one, maybe two designs. The OK Corral is extremely different in its design and the way it works. Uh, we can't do a commercial. Or, in, or any kind of instructional video without the man with Todd Perkins from Titan West. Todd, this is a different type of setup and a layout. Why? Uh, Why is that? Jeff, we, you know, when we when we were working with the corral, there was some things that we looked at that we liked on the OK Corral. First of all, it was designed by a gentleman in Iowa, uh, New Virginia, Iowa. His name is Pete Putney. He holds a patent onto it. He uh, won several awards. And the design of having a a pin on each side of, of your of your alley, of your working alley. It's, it's small, you've got the front compartment, you've got the other end that you can... 
that uh, you can load cattle out of, you can have a squeeze chute, you can do anything you want on the other end. Why did you guys decide to go with a pen on each side of, of, your, of your trailer in your center alley? Well, it's like uh, a couple different reasons. First of all, sometimes when you're bringing cattle in, you can't get them all caught in one, in one draft. Okay, so you just get the first one, you can pin them in on one side, go back and get the other one. That's one of the options you can have with it. The other option, it, you can sort animals from side to side. The one that we're using is uh, 80 to 100 head, right? That's right. Depending we, upon size of cattle you're working with. And, and we figure about 800 square foot per pin on each side. There's a lot of different things that you can do with the OK Corral when it comes to handling cattle, but I think the most important thing that we need to remember is when you're handling cattle, it needs to be efficient and it needs to be safe. And that's the ultimate thing that we have here with the OK Corral. It's a hot day. Clint, thanks for letting us come out, run your cattle around and no burn about 100 pounds off of them. <laughs> In the meantime, we're going we're gonna to let you get out of here and get down the road. So. That's going to do it for the OK Corral. I'm Jeff Earhart. Thanks for joining us. If you have any more questions, contact Titan West or any Titan West dealer near you. Instructions of how to fold up one of the wings on the Senior OK Corral. Gary's also using the uh, handle that just pins onto the panel, which helps carry the panel because then you can use two hands. And then you use the chains to set it up on the panel support. You use the panel jack to set the panels on the tire wheel that helps you move in those two panels. Then you just take up your panel outriggers as well. The Senior OK Corral is 160 to 200 head capacity. It does take a little more time to set up than the standard, but it is also a bigger corral and you normally have more help. And then the two panels just roll on the wheel because the senior has three panels on the back, on the right, on the front, and then on the opposite side. For a total of 12 panels. You loosen your winch to unhook it from the main frame of the corral and you hook it to the two panels to lift it onto the third and outside panel. This is a heavier winch and cable that they put on the senior versus the OK corral. and you just set it on the panel that's marked to fasten here. Just be a yellow sticker. And then you rehook it to the main frame of the corral to swing in the three panels. You lift your panel wheel up and attach it back to the panel. This is a double-sided winch, so you don't have to worry about it freewheeling. It has the gears in both ways. It's a lot safer. The 
normally takes two guys 15 to 20 minutes to either break down or set up the OK Corral Senior. And that's it. One thing you want to double check too is you want to use the stabilizer supports that they are putting up on the OK Corral Senior. You want to put those down when you unhook from the pickup where they are sitting level with the center jack to support the corral before you take the wings off to start setting up the corral.